My name is Steve Kuznicki. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemical and Materials Engineering here at the University of Alberta. The oil sands in Alberta yields oil that's very, very heavy and needs a great deal of hydrogen to be thinned out. Uh, we're working on membranes to separate hydrogen from carbon dioxide to uh, generate hydrogen while isolating carbon dioxide at the same time. We have a companion program going with General Electric Basic Research in this, and we're actually working with them to try to get to a demonstration unit, but we're trying to refine it to the, the, the uh, needs of the Alberta oil sands through Helmholtz. Something a little bit more original, one of the contaminants that you get from the uh, hydrocarbons indigenous to Alberta is a great deal of H2S, uh, or uh, dihydrogen sulfide. Uh, it's not just a poison, uh, it is very detrimental to, for example, membranes that you can use to separate air into oxygen and nitrogen. It's very detrimental to catalysts that can be used to convert hydrocarbons. And we believe, we've discovered a new group of adsorbents that will very effectively and very inexpensively strip H2S out of all sorts of gas streams. New H2S adsorbents could have a multitude of uses in bed guards for membranes that, that could then separate oxygen and nitrogen as protecting catalysts that convert hydrocarbons into higher value things. Um, we've got a really new lead in that. We're seeing just spectacular results that I think, and I've done this for a lot of years, I think have a, a real chance of translating into something in the real world. Right at this moment we've got I believe eight graduate students on this, I think four uh, PhD students and four master students, as well as some uh, supporting professionals. They're working on practical projects uh, with real world potential outcomes, interfacing with people in another country. The people on the German end of the Helmholtz Alberta Initiative seem very determined to make this work. If you look around here, we have people who are very determined to make this work. Usually determined people make things happen.